Hello and welcome back to another Easy Odds Premier League video. The Premier League is back. We're back. We're back. Celebrate. Everyone is celebrating. Hug your loved ones. <laughs> Run around the streets naked. It's up again for a tomorrow special bank to spin up and get three $1 tickets. It's the best day of the entire year. Premier League's back, thank God. What, like the summer is just... Hey, we didn't the enjoy the Confederations Cup. We did not enjoy the Confederations Cup. That's for damn sure. <laughs> This video today is going to be sponsored by Bookie, who have a pretty good offer on actually. It's an Arsenal, Man United, and Liverpool treble. You'd think they'd all win. Usually two to one. They're going ten to one. Yeah. And most importantly to some people, the winnings are paid out in real money, real not money. free bets, which is massive. I mean, that's completely different compared to most bookmakers. So that's a really good offer if you want to sign up with Bookie. There will be a link uh, in the card, and there will also be a link at the end of the video. Um, and there also will be a link in the description below. So three different ways to get that accumulator. And we're gonna have accumulator at the end of the video, so stick around for that. Um, let's start off with Arsenal versus Leicester. Arsenal hoping to at least get a Champions League spot this season. Leicester hoping to get mid-table. Hoping to get mid-table. Yeah, it's crazy to think that it's just two years ago now that they were lifting the mm. Premier League trophy. Um, and last season, of course, they um, got to the Champions League quarterfinals. Absolutely brilliant story. Crazy. Oh, unfortunately for them, can't see it um, happening ever again, <laughs> pretty much. Um, but they did live the fairy tale for a short amount of time. Uh, they're playing in the Friday night game, the opening um, curtain raiser in the Premier League, um, up, up against Arsenal. Tough game away at Arsenal. Although um, Sanchez, of course, is not available for that game through injury. Stop you right there for a second. When people do this, I don't really know what that means. Um, not that he's talking to other clubs at mm. all. Um, and Arsenal also have a plenty of. Um, defensive injuries going into this opening match on Friday night and for me that means that they're going to struggle to keep a clean sheet especially as Leicester have now got more of an attacking threat they've signed Ian Acho from Man City class player um, slightly unproven he didn't start many games um, but when he was on the pitch that yeah. boy scores goals he does score goals um, uh, so he's an, an improvement on um, their previous uh, choice of Slimani um, and of course they've also still got Vardy and Mares is still available as well a, a very very good player who knows that he's coveted by a lot of teams, including Arsenal, and the mm. fact that um, Arsenal could well be in, in after a player similar to Mahrez if, if um, Sanchez goes, Mahrez surely is going to be trying at his absolute best to try and, and, and impress Arsenal in this match, so that's another reason to back um, Arsenal to let in a goal. So both teams to score, I'm pretty certain that um, Arsenal will score a goal, um, they've, they've obviously brought in Lacazette, yeah. who's um, looked decent in pre-season, and they've got plenty of... Um, threats going forward, it's just in the defensive um, department for Arsenal that, that they might struggle on Friday night. So both teams to score 4-5 to five to open up our Premier League tips. That looks solid. Inacho, his goal, his minutes uh, to oh, goal ratio is really good. It? It's, like, it's better than Rashford's. Obviously Rashford was playing on the wing quite a lot. Yeah, season. Rashford then scored about 4 goals. Yeah, been. but it, it is, his uh, minutes to goal ratio is really, really good. So I think 25 million is actually, in, in today's market, back in the day you'd have thought that was ridiculous, but yeah. in today's market, in today's market that's pittance. Neymar are going for a bloody <laughs> 200 million. Get in lunch over 20 million. I know why I bought. <laughs> Next up is Watford versus Liverpool. Yep, Saturday, um, early, early game. Um, Liverpool to win to nil is going to be my tip here, Jake. Um, Watford have failed to score in this fixture last year. And they've also failed to score in their last two friendlies as well. They drew 0-0 against Sociedad. Okay. They drew 0-0 against Aston Villa. So they're struggling for goals. Since I've written this, they have signed uh, Richard Lisson from the Brazilian League. And they've also signed Andre Gray. So that may address that. But I'm willing to stick with my guns here. And um, because obviously those two players wouldn't have played um, as a pair yet at all. Because they've only literally just been signed. Um, so I think 17-10 to on Liverpool to win to nil here is a decent bet. Watford have drawn blanks in the last two friendlies, as I've said, and the match last season ended in a 1-0 win for Liverpool after an absolutely ludicrous uh, Emma Chan over uh, oh kick, which, was, which I think was your goal of the year in our It goal, was the goal of the year. It's a ridiculous goal. So yeah, 17-10, um, to 10, nice price there on Liverpool to win to nil. Yeah, seems like a decent price, so you don't, you don't think uh, the old Troy Deeney is going to be starting it much longer? I've, I've heard that Deeney might be um, not quite fit for this game, okay. so um, they might be playing their their new boys, which could well um, mean that they score a goal, but I'm willing to bet against, to bet against them also. And of course they have the great Will Hughes in midfield as well they now. They do have the great Will So Hughes. he's probably going to knock in a hat-trick. And so. they couldn't score against Aston Villa, so... Oh dear. <laughs> Next up is Chelsea versus Burnley without Andre Gray. Without Andre Gray, of course, yeah. And that will um, contribute to my tip here, which is 13-10. to 10. 
Um, under 2.5 goals here, 13 to 10. Bur uh, Burnley were absolutely blown away last season at Stamford Bridge. They lost 3 0, but that was Costa, Hazard, players like that. And suspensions, injuries, and wobblies from the likes of Costa mean that they won't be playing here. Mm -hmm. So um, their squad has been hit hard, um, uh, has Chelsea. Um, and that includes now, of course, the red card from Pedro in the um, Community Shield. So he's out as well. So no Pedro, no Hazard. No Costa. You take those players out, that's plenty of goals missing. Mm. Um, so I think it'll be a harder task to beat um, Burnley by the likes of 3-0 here. So under 2.5 goals to be scored at Stamford Bridge on the opening day, that's a good price, especially, as you pointed out, Andre Gray's not playing for Burnley. Exactly. Now, those three look pretty solid, I think. I think those three look pretty solid. And they're all in the accumulator. And they're all in the up yeah. at the end of the video. Yeah, the accumulator is going to be coming up at the end of the video, so stick around for that. It's going to be a big one. Well, it's obviously going to be a big one. Eight, eight, eight teams. Uh, the other two games are going to be... Uh, we're going to be doing separate videos for them, because they're the biggest games of the weekend. Yeah. Uh, we think Man United versus West Ham and Newcastle versus Tottenham. Two huge games. Um, we can do separate videos for them for you, if you're a Newcastle fan, or a Tottenham fan, or a Man United fan, or a West Ham fan, which probably loads of you are. <laughs> Next up is Crystal Palace versus New Boys, Huddersfield, and Tom Ince. Tom Ince, your man Tom Ince, yeah. absolutely. Um, lots of former derby players now in the Premier League. Um, I'm... There'll be plenty of people that will be backing Huddersfield here. There's always one team, normally, of the newly promoted teams that um, do quite well on the opening day, of course, because they're coming in with um, such momentum from the previous season. Um, but and, and all the stats lead towards a draw here, Jake. Um, yeah. Each of the last six matches at Selhurst Park between these two teams have ended in a draw. That's a really weird um, stat. Um, and Huddersfield has spent £41 million in the summer, so they've boosted their squad wholly from the championship side that they've got. And Palace have not um, have only won once in pre-season, so there's plenty of people that will be back in either a draw or maybe um, Huddersfield mm. um, drawing a bet or Huddersfield the double chance. But I just feel that Palace should have the advantage here, j j just through home advantage as well. And they've got the Premier League experience, they've got Ben Teke, who could be the match winner here. And Zaha has been absolutely excellent in pre-season. If Zaha has a great game, up against your man, Paul, um, Paul, not Paul Lintz, Tom Lintz. <laughs> and Paul Lintz. And <laughs> Paul Lintz, his dad. Um, I, I really do feel that, that, they've got the, that, that they do have the advantage here. 17 to 20, Palace to win. They're at home. How do you think Huddersfield are going to do this season? Huddersfield, I think some teams are going to underrate them. Um, actually, the, the, the bottom 12, 13 of the Premier League, there's not a huge amount of difference. Okay. between these sides. I don't think that any of the teams that have come up are going to be set adrift. I, I think all of them will be in with a shout of staying up. Whether they do or not will be up a matter of the gods, I think, but they're not going to be um, set aside like uh, Derby were back in the years. That's what I'm <laughs> hoping for. That's what I wanted you to say. I wanted you to say, well, I think we're going to get lower than Derby. Eight points. Lower than Derby's <laughs> one win in the entire season. Um, next up is Everton versus Stoke. Everton are going to look to have a pretty good season. They made a lot of Big signings. I certainly have. Obviously sold Lukaku, but they've made a lot of big signings. Yeah, um, it's a bit big, aren't they? Some people outside chance of making the top four. It doesn't seem that likely, but uh, yeah. they're playing Stoke on Saturday. Yeah, it's a nice start to the season. It's a home mm. tie against Stoke. Um, seven to ten, best price on the Everton win. I'll take that. Um, okay. Everton have had a busy pre-season already. They've been doing their Europa League qualification, which means there's a competitive nature to today's games, which is entirely different to playing pre-season friendlies. That will put them in, in good stead coming into this game against Stoke. And Everton won this fixture one 0 last season, and won their, their two Europa League games one 0 in pre-season as well. So they're, they're keeping clean sheets. They've got a good record in this fixture against Stoke. I'm happy to take the, them at seven to ten. Okay, that's that's pretty cut and dry. It's going to be Everton going to win that game. Now all of these seem absolute certainties. So in the accumulator that we're going to be announcing at the end of the video, it's going to be huge, and we're going to win. Oh, we're all going to be rich. That would be good, wouldn't it? Next up, it's Southampton versus Swansea. You have your boy, Tammy Abraham. My boy, yeah. Um, I cannot believe that he's as big as 7-2 to two, uh, to score any time. Mm. Not even first goal scorer. And he's definitely going to start with her. He's definitely going to start because Lorente has broken his arm. Yeah. Weirdly, on the easy odds, um, odds comparison service, there's some bookmakers that still price Lorente as a shorter price to score in this game, even though he's got a broken arm. Um, Seems unlikely. <laughs> Tammy Abraham. So I feel a, bit, a little bit like he's, he's a, a hidden gem. Um, the the bookies for uh, quite rightly, I guess, because he's never played Premier League football. Um, but he took to the Championship with ease. Scored 23 goals for Bristol City last season. 
So he's a, he's a goal scorer. If he gets chances, he will score, especially because most of his goals come from about four yards out. <laughs> uh, so he can't really miss. He's got a really, really good knack of being in the right place at the right time with his long, lanky legs just kind of reaching out and um, knocking it into the corner. Um, so, yeah, with Lorente out injured, Sigurdsson sat out most of the preseason thanks to his um, ongoing transfer saga. So he will be the focal point of their attack. And if they are to, to score, Abraham will be the one to mm. do it on, on Saturday. Up against a Southampton team that in pre-season lost 4-0 at home against Augsburg. So their defence doesn't look all that. Okay. So they will get chances, Swansea, and it's likely to be Abraham that gets them. So 7-2 to two on an Abraham goal. It's a big price. And we both have him in our fantasy team. So, yeah, that's very important. Absolutely jinxed him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is West Brom versus Bournemouth. Wow. What yeah, game. big game, big game, and I'm going to be going up, up, up against the home side here. West Brom had an absolutely horrible end to last season. They looked like they were going to be finishing top half with 10 games to go, but then they just stopped playing. Yeah. Um, unbelievable um, end to the season where they didn't, I, I think they won 1 in 11 come, in, come the end of the season because they were safe and there was nothing to play for for mm. them really. Um, so... I, th I think Bournemouth, who have lost just um, two of their last 12 last season, so they finished last season very, very well. Of course, Josh King mm. came uh, to fruition for them very, very well, scored, scored lots of goals. I think he'll be starting here. I think he will. Yeah. I, I'm, he did really well last season. I can't understand a manager mm. that would drop him now. No. Um, I know that they've brought in Jermaine, yeah. who um, obviously scores goals for fun, and he's at a, a far better team now than he was last season. Some of them were a bit of an embarrassment last season. Mm. Um, so he will score goals for um, Bournemouth, but he... You just named two players there that are capable of scoring goals, so a big reason to, to back Bournemouth. Draw no bet here. Um, they bought well in the summer, as I said, and they look to continue where they left off. The Cherries were unlucky to only draw 2-2 at home against Napoli, and Napoli are a Champions League team. Um, in their final um, pre-season game last week, uh, were Bournemouth, so up against a, a West Brom team that were just dreadful at, at the end of last season. I think Bournemouth drawing a bet six to five decent price because of course if it is a draw then you get your money back. Exactly. Bournemouth spent quite a bit of money, haven't they? They have quite a bit of money in the last couple of seasons, obviously. For a club that what six years ago were yeah. um, pretty much a charity club asking for money to keep the club alive. It's an absolutely yeah. incredible story. Hopefully Defoe will do well for them. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Jo better than Jordan Ive, anyway. <laughs> oh, poor Jordan Ive. Brighton, the big game at the Amex, the boss's team. <laughs> Brighton. <laughs> Versus Man City, it's a very very tough start for them. Doesn't yeah. get tougher than yeah. playing up against the bookies' favourites. Although they have got home advantage, which will be key to them. Um, mm. And I think the fact that they're playing up against um, the citizens who have bought really well for their defence, they've spent an absolutely astronomical amount of money—198 million spent on um, their team. It's and been... four of those players are all in yeah. defence. Yeah, I think all of their main. Signings of the yeah. defenders, haven't they? And I do think that Brighton are playing them at the best time because this this new look back line, it hasn't had time to really gel. Mm. So they're going to get better and better and better as the season goes on. So it's better to play them early doors when they're not quite gelled. So for that reason, I think backing both teams to score at 11 to 10 is a decent price. Okay. Um, Brighton proved last weekend that playing up against good, um, good teams at home, they, um, they can score goals. Listen to this, Jake. And let's go... At Atletico Madrid, widely thought of as the best kind of back line in Europe. Yeah. They scored two goals against them, including Steve Sidwell. Steve Sidwell scored against Atletico Madrid. I, I can't <laughs> quite believe it, but he did Fantastic. it. Um, so up against a team just as good in Man City, I think they're capable of scoring. Yeah. And of course, Ma Man City going forward are absolutely frightening, aren't they? Um, they've added Bernardo Silva now from um, Monaco, the team that's just going to be decimated by transfers as pretty much all the best European clubs pluck their best players. Um, so he's added to an attack that's already got De Bruyne, Silva, Aguero, Jesus, Sterling. It's pretty frightening. So they, I can't see Brighton keep, keeping it a clean sheet either, but I can see them scoring. So 11 to 10, both teams to score. Love it. That's all of it. That's all the eight teams that we're going to cover in this one video. Before we go on to the accumulator, which is a big one, remember to, we have just got a, a brilliant, brand new, dedicated Premier League app, which is going to yeah. have all the best odds. So when you hear about Ross's odds comparisons, crazy things between, you get some crazy differences in any time goal scorer markets, Absolutely. first goal scorer. We've got tips from Ross, uh, written tips. We've got, do we have videos in there as well? We can add the videos. We yeah. can add videos in there as well. So it's going to be a really, really nice app for every Premier League fan. Um, if you like a bet on the Premier League, it's going to be really, really helpful. Um, now, 
accumulator time. Time to announce. I definitely, should, I definitely should have added an actual drum roll, not no, me no, no. hitting my fingers on the, the table. The table roll again. was fantastic. Okay, so what is the accumulator for this eightfold? So it is that all the eight selections that I've um, at, that, that I've talked about in this uh, video, every single one. Okay. They're all coming in, Jake. Yes. And with our friends Bet365. Bet yes. One pound on, five hundred and fifty pounds back. Pretty sure that we're going to be very, very rich. Come you could literally go out in Soho for one night. <laughs> one night. You could buy one Soho. drink in Soho. Oh, yes. So yeah, um, if you do fancy every single one of of these selections, um, you can get an eightfold with our friends Bet 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 Thank you very much for watching. Remember to take advantage of that offer from Bucky. Arsenal, Man United, Liverpool, 10 to 1, paid in cash, which is pretty decent. Um, remember to subscribe, like the video, comment if you don't agree with anything, or if you agree with anything, what you think of the video. Uh, have you bet on any of the um, matches? And also let us know what you think of the app. As well. and think, yeah, let us know what you think of the app as well. I've been Jake Johns, this is the Mad Dog Ross Casey. See ya. Bye -bye.